And then it's 447 here. We are watching a few showers this morning if you are walking out the door. And for those of you who live in the coastal areas, we are still seeing some coastal flooding. Much more on that in just a second. But let's talk about hour by hour how today shapes up. We're going to stay mostly in the upper 80s this afternoon. Hot and humid with a few showers passing through. We have been tracking a few of those showers already this morning. Uh, still partly tied to what is uh, left of Tropical Storm Alberto, which is making landfall right now just around Tampico, Mexico this morning. All the heavy Heavy rain has now moved into Texas and Mexico, but still a few streaming showers getting pulled into this large circulation. The center of this is over 700 miles away, but we do still see some strong winds. Our winds this morning, they're not nearly as strong as they were yesterday afternoon, but they are still gusty, gusting to 16 at Shell Beach, 29 to nearly 30 miles an hour right off of our coast and 20 at the lakefront. So the winds have remained steady enough that the water will be elevated as we go through today and then there's slight improvements over the next couple of days, but our east wind is here at least for the next couple of days, so the tides are going to be slow to go down. So our coastal flooding will continue. Coastal flood warnings for areas around Shell Beach and the western sides of Lake Pontchartrain, along with Hancock County. That's where we're expecting the highest of the water. So I drew on here where you see these red lines, like on the west side of Lake Bourne, the west side of Lake Pontchartrain, Lake Maurepas. East Bank of Plaquemines Parish and parts of Hancock County. That's where the water will be highest. Could be two to four feet higher than normal, especially in that Shell Beach, Hopedale area. So the eastern St. Bernard Parish is where the water has certainly been at its highest. High tide for Grand Isle will happen at 9 a.m. this morning, so water about one to two feet higher than normal. It will be slightly better than yesterday, but still some flooding. Hancock County around 11 a.m. is your high tide. Shell Beach, your highest water will once again come in the early afternoon around noon to one o'clock. It'll probably be about one foot lower or half a foot lower than what we saw yesterday, but still some flooding down there. And then for areas in eastern parts of Lake Pontchartrain around Slidell, the Wrigley's getting into Lake Catherine there. 11 a.m. is your high tide in the west side of Lake Lake Pontchartrain, your water will be highest later this afternoon. So once you get into parts of Tangepo Parish, even over into Livingston Parish, we have seen some flooding in and around the lakes. The winds are staying steady out of the east, so that's why the water is going to take some time to drop off, but at least the winds are dying down, so the tides are not going to get worse day by day. They will steadily get better as we head into Saturday, but still some coastal flooding today. I still think we'll have even some coastal flooding for parts of tomorrow. Elsewhere in the tropics, there goes Alberto. Here comes its cousin, I guess you could say, coming in right behind it. And then we got another feature off the east coast. These two features do have a chance. This one will happen this weekend. Maybe this one coming off the east coast here may try to quickly spin up and head towards the Jacksonville Savannah area by tomorrow morning. Shouldn't be anything strong, but some squally weather there. As we go into the southwestern Gulf, notice another large circulation developing by Saturday. Very similar path to Alberto, and we may not really see any impact from that. So uh, next name on the list, by the way, is Barrel. We've checked off Alberto at this point, and um, it's June 20th. On average, our first name storm of the season forms on June 20th. So nothing really out of norm there with Alberto forming yesterday. So still breezy today, a few showers, but those rain chances will continue to drop off, and we're about to get hot. 93 Saturday, 94 on Sunday, and then next week, Brandon, Staying hot and humid with a better chance for rain.